I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. And it's coming to you from Deepak Home Base in New York City. My very special guest today is Desmond Child, husband of Curtis Child now. Yes. And father of two very beautiful children, um, Roman, Roman and, and Nero. Nero. Roman and Nero. So we are going to share the story with everyone. You have a new film. It's yes. called Two, the story of Roman and Nero. And it's being shown right now at various film festivals. Yes. Won several uh, awards already. Yes. Yeah, available uh, on no, iTunes uh, or no, anywhere else No, that's just yet? a screener that uh, we're okay. giving you. So how will people see it? Well, it will be officially commercially released in January. And then, of course, it'll be available on... Theatrical release, too? Yes. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And so right uh, next week, we're going to be in Los Angeles, and we're doing um, uh, uh, a, an Oscar qualifying uh, a run. Good for you. And, uh, and uh, so if, if you check our website, to thedocumentary.com, all of our screenings will be on there. To the documentary, to as in T W O. To the but let's go back, Desmond. A long time ago, you were, you had just, I think, written the a hit song for uh, our Ricky friend Martin. Ricky Martin. Uh, yes, La living, Vida. Living La Vida Loca. Living La Vida Loca, and uh, you know. Uh, so it, that's when we met. made Ricky. Huge superstar. That's right. And he owes everything to me. <laughs> yeah, he does. Actually, I met him after that, thanks to you. <laughs> and uh, at that time, he hadn't come out of the closet about his, uh, you know, his uh, sexual orientation. That's right. And he was very uncomfortable with it. And you yes. had kind of told me to talk to him. Yes. But um, uh, it was an interesting time. I mean, you guys, you especially... Uh, become a legend in the, in the music business. Well, I'm a legend now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you definitely are. And I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful thing. Oh, he's thing. he's so old. He's a legend. No, a living legend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at that time, you invited my partner Curtis and I to a conference in India called How to Know God. Yeah, I remember. And so. Um, it was a wonderful event with, there were hundreds of people and we were in Agra near the Taj Mahal, that's where we started out. And so that's where we met Angela Whitaker, who would then become our surrogate mother because we so wanted to have children. And so you she, and Curtis weren't married then? No, because, because it wasn't even legal, right? Yeah, that's at right. That time. That's right. So you got recently married. Congratulations. We got married last Friday in Central Park. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. But, so. and, our, and our sons, our twin sons, Roman and Nero, they're 11 years old and they were our best men. Unbelievable. What a great story. So let's go back to Agra. What happened? Well, we, we were doing all the conferences. I think the Tibetan monks were there doing a beautiful From the uh, Dalai Lama's mandala. place, yes. And... Uh, uh, Oh, it was, it was just magical. Every day was another revelation. And we spent all our time with Angela and her mother, Ruby, who had come in uh, just special for that. And I kept looking at her and I said, you know what? She could have our baby. I just, I just got that strong feeling. And she said, why are you looking at me that way? And I said, because you're going to have my kid. And she said, ah, get away from me. No, no way. And so... Uh, that but then night, she had a dream. Then she had a dream that night that she was carrying our child. And so it took a few months, but we got back together when we all got back to Nashville, where she also lived. And um, She's a performer too, a singer. She's a voiceover yeah, artist. Voice. 